this white LX470 has just come in and it's a very good car. It's pearl white in colour, which I think is the pick of the colours of the LX470. They weren't available in many colours. With beige interior. This is also the update series, which came with a five speed transmission, reverse camera, and inbuilt navigation. The car's done 225,000 kilometres, which is absolutely nothing on a Lexus LX470 or a Land Cruiser. All the leather looks like new, basically because it is new. This car has been retrimmed. Because these cars are quite high up, when you're getting out of them, they get a lot of wear on the bolsters getting in and out. And as opposed to trying to patch the seats up, we actually had them fully refurbished. And they've just come up beautifully. There was no expense spared when having this done. But the car was so beautiful in such good condition and in every other regard really that it was the right thing to do. It's got the 4.7 litre quad cam V8 engine. Let's put the seats down so it's an eight seater. It's a proper eight seater which means you can seat eight adults in it. With a lot of other seven and eight seater full drives, the very back seat's really only just for little children. These are very capable off-road, but high range, low range. It's also got a centre differential, and it's got what Toyota and Lexus call A-Track, which is basically a four-drive system which uses a viscous coupling, which puts power to the wheel or wheels that have traction. These cars are very very capable off-road. At the click of a button you can raise the suspension by about a foot. At the moment the suspension is on low. You can raise it up by about a foot or even more for going over obstacles. With the A-Track system, um, as I said if you're going through very rough terrain and you've only got traction on one or two wheels. It will generally break the other wheels and put power to the wheels with traction, which is a very good system to have. Probably the only other thing I would say about this car is that the front bumper needs to be done. I'd literally have it redone for a few hundred dollars. I think someone's just you know, backed into it when parking or similar. But it's never been a major accident. The paintwork is excellent. It's very clean under the bonnet. From what I can see, it, it really doesn't look like it's been used off-road. Just looks like it's been a family car. And the update, I think, is the one to get. The previous model had a four-speed transmission. And uh, on the, with the newer gearbox, you should be able to get the car down to about a 10 or 11 litres per 100 kilometres on the freeway and around town it just completely depends on how you drive you can get them down to 15 or 16 litres per 100 k's but if you put your foot down you know that can change it had its timing belt at 156,000 kilometres in 2011 and at the last service at 225,000 kilometres it had eight new platinum spark plugs I say that because they're very expensive but the car looks very clean under the bonnet and if you've been looking for a good update LX470 for around $25,000. I think this car is it. I think if we, if the bumper was fixed, you'd be looking at a very, very good car. People asked $20,000 for the previous model with the older gearbox with over 200,000 kilometers. And I think that you're much better off spending a little bit extra and getting this beautiful update. It's got a Lexus tow bar, a genuine Lexus tow bar. It's got an incredible service history to it, fully stamped up to date with the last service being about a thousand kilometres ago. 
So this car you can just drive it and enjoy it. It's ready to go whether it's for towing, carting your family around, or if you want to do some off-roading in absolute luxury, you can do that as well. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.